Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is the Imperial British Campaign in Man the Guns. In the last episode we lost our first ever tank division, I didn't notice at the time the significance of that loss. It was not just that we lost the tank division, it was that we lost the tank division for the first time in history. The, uh, the lack of supply and hence fuel on the Eastern Front against the Japanese is not helping. But uh, we're making do, not very successfully in that case, but we're making do. We're getting more tech which is helping out. The uh, attacks on Hong Kong were eventually unsuccessful, but them trying to push out of Hong Kong, I have, it has occurred to me, is actually fine because they're just taking huge casualties trying to take this city um, across the strait for n to no gain, so <clears throat> I really shouldn't complain. You guys could really do with being somewhere where we're just using no supply right now, yeah, because otherwise you're just going to attrition to death. Good. Okay, we are retaking some Aegean Isles. Rhodes is next on the list. We are uh, fully planned, it looks like. No? Oh, we don't actually have superiority in the Central Med. Let's spread out these guys a little bit. And go on, you can have one of my... Uh, one of my scouting forces that have been operating up here in this region. I would like you all to split off. When necessary, repair and split off. Unnecessary. Parents, but tough. Good. Okay, what is this? This is a. Should be in the reserve ship. In the reserve, do you have anything good for me? Not as of yet. The desperate steel shortage persists. Oh, there is some extra available for import. It's always a nice day. How are we going to fix the steel crisis? Uh, taking Italy will help. Oh, hello. Mexican Junker declared war on Paraguay. That strikes me as an odd decision, since you're, uh, albeit very slowly, but losing ground against the Americans. Once the Americans win here, I wonder if they're going to start launching millions of naval engagements against the Germans. That could help, just by distracting them. Nice, so we're getting a bunch of extra... Uh... Why are they declaring war on these people? Yeah, we're getting a bunch more people in South America. It would be good if they declared war on Brazil. Ooh, Argentina, okay. I mean, this is more ships entering the fray, which I, I can hardly complain about. Hey, new guys, I'd love convoys. No? How about you, my man? You know you want to. Welcome to the fleet. We'll send you all kinds of great stuff, I swear. Just give me some convoys. No, I have uh, I have too many in surplus right now. They don't want to. They don't think I have a desperate need for it. And they're not, they're not wrong, really. You guys should also pull back. The supply situation is just not catering to tanks right now. In fact, sure. You guys, uh, even, yeah, some of you guys as well. We need to, we need to reduce our presence on the front line. Um, because there's no point suffering attrition on a static front line. This isn't World War One. We're not about that. Um, there's nowhere along the front right now that isn't overly full of men. So we will just pull them back. The Chinese have got a lot of divisions in this region holding out anyway. Good. Right, random islands that I don't care about. Good. As long as they don't invade. I mean, the thing is, once they finish invading those islands, they will probably turn their attention to New Zealand and Australia, and we do not want to lose New Zealand and Australia. Um... But I think that's kind of a problem that we'll face when we face, basically. Okay, you guys split up a bit. You split up. Could do with a few more anti-airplanes in these regions. And I suppose... Okay, there's amphibious warfare. We should really have some guarding Ireland. Though I doubt they're... Oh, they actually are bombing Ireland right now. No, they have naval air superiority. Even though there's no one there. Well, I'll put one flight over Ireland. Ireland, of course, another guy actually in the faction. Did eventually get off his neutral whole neutrality kick. Ooh, this could be good. Command power gain is useful. Yeah, let's grab the, the committee. You guys, take to the seas. Our mission efficiency on protection has dropped. I suppose the Germans deployed some new ships. So, we're holding. Now we are oversupply once again in this area. So let's fix that. Like 
like so. Good. He's retreating. Because I think with one tank on each tile, we should be in very good shape to defend. So I, I'm, I'm content to remove some infantry to make that happen. Not least because, of course, our tanks have great piercing. So that brings us to one tank per tile. And with this guy removed, I think that's going to be doable. They really like undergarrisoning this mounted one, even though it can be attacked in three directions. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that's a real problem. We can't afford to lose Canada. We can't afford to lose the American oil. Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is a good campaign. Okay, um, first off, adjust raiding to react to the fact that I want to be prioritizing attacking the Free American Empire. Secondly, give me... How many ships did they get? Oh, Jesus. pause for a few days. We're going to try sending the ships the, the, the tanks rather oh that is slight oversight. We're going to try sending them via the northern route uh, from Scarpa Flow round, round and in um, but yes I will we're going to do what we can to react rapidly to this disaster One, one high quality army might be enough. All in. So I'm going to pinch Ready. some of these guys. We haven't had an invasion up in this region for donkey's years, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Ready. Though, I mean, we should have at least one guy in each of these ports. Up. Yes, the United States wants me to call them against the Free American Empire. I decline. I am going to organize a diplomatic uh, a diplomatic trick against the Free American Empire, in yes, which sir. I pretend to say, you know, the British Empire is far too busy to get involved in your eternal affairs, America. Ready, we are going sir. to stay neutral in your civil war. But really, I'm just using this as an excuse to be able to ship my men across the Pacific without their interference. This seems intelligent to me. Uh, you guys, and actually the French are garrisoning this port fine, so I'll nick you too. Okay, one more needed. Um, I think I'll pinch a tank since yes. they're not being used. Okay, you guys. It's Now it's occurred to me that uh, we don't need to worry about their fleet until I actually join the war against them. Get your butts across here. Pronto. Okay. Mobilize rapidly against them. This is a code red. Repeat code red. We need to... There's a very heavy threat of the, German, the American military being devastated down here. Not to mention losing years and years of hard-fought land gained against the... Um, against the Mexicans. Let's see if we can get some American expeditionaries. Because I, I swear to you, America, I will command them a lot better than you will. Okay, good. We have got some men here now. That's what I want to see. Okay, we'll, do, we'll command this theatre from under the tank army. That's, that's fine. Okay, good. Ready. An immediate strike in here is a no-brainer. Ah, oh, but I'm not in the war. Okay. Yes, that could cause a problem, I agree. Okay. Ready. Fine. You can have those men back. No, I'm not going to join your war against them. Britain stays neutral. God, good luck, America. Um, you should be VP rushing right now, but I know you don't know that, so I, I don't hold it against you too much. Supply here is bad, but fixable. Good. Three, three out should be enough. 
to have them out rapidly so I can... I want to be able to not pay attention to this front so I can focus on America. 20 out of 19 will do. There's no attrition from, from that little an excess. Meanwhile, this front's looking fine, stable-ish. Not a problem. Good. Alright, resources. Obviously, our American steel import just went through the ground. I will temporarily import from the Free American Empire. Because we need our steel. Alright, free mills. Um, just check for that one final time. Well, there's a little bit of aluminium we can get there. Is there anywhere else I can build steel? Don't think so. Doesn't appear so. No. Okay. Uh, that being the case, let's let's crank infrastructure in this region. I'm also going to work on some repairs to get a road up there. Uh, we would also like a few more air bases. Sure, put some anti-air in the corpuses. Um, and then max out the anti-air at home, I suppose. Because we know there are enemy planes giving us problems here. And once you built that, got back to me. We've basically finished everything we want to build. There's no point building more mills because we don't have the resources for it. Of course, there's one argument that could be run, uh, which I don't agree with, which is, you know, do we want the Free American Empire to win, and then we go to war with them? We only have about 50 days to get across the sea, by the way, because then they're going to declare on us. Uh, why do I only have one scouting force? Because this one is so badly damaged. Have a bunch of extra destroyers, and for the love of God, when you need to repair, split off. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I know you want me to come against them. Oh, God. Okay, the Netherlands. Good. I thought it was going to be Americans, and then we'd have, like, suddenly this area would be underdefended or something. But no, it's all good. Okay, so we've got one tank all the way along, except just here. Let's, uh, let's work on that. One more tank to fulfill that dream there. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, more tanks. Uh, I mean, we've got the equipment for it. So why not? Obviously fuel use, but if we put them somewhere static, that's fine. Naval invasion underway. Rhodes Ready, has fallen. Uh, I think I overdid it. On the port garrison of Crete, we have near total control of the Mediterranean Ocean. I think the wrong one. I don't think it is any, any longer necessary. What are you? You're my anti... Uh, yes, Spanish force. Fair enough. You could be uh, reorganized somewhat, I think. Ready to move. Good. Um, right, remaining Attention. naval invaders. Uh, let's just keep on keeping on, shall we? Um, I guess it's, it's here next, but I, I don't really feel like that's viable. Let's try Balearic Isles instead. Because I really feel like we have the Mediterranean on lock at this stage. Um, perhaps I shouldn't say that when the Aegean is not under our sway as of yet. But with some deployed men here, and uh, we must have more fighters available. I suppose I am losing a lot of them uh, in various places. Give me another 400 Belgium. Belgian fighters. And actually, can I have another 400? I'd really love it. If I could have yet another 400, and then we could really just get those interceptors up over the med. Just so that we know there's not going to be any problems with our convoys being attacked in the region. Okay, another invasion down here. They're just picking off my islands one by one. We continue to hold here, but it's unpleasantly close. Let's move over some of these guys. Because they, uh, obviously they're taking up supply in the region, so I think I should have them on the what looks like the weakest spot in the area. Okay, American divisions, at least American divisions going to America, are approaching target. Yeah, as expected, 
problems on the Mexican front. Hopefully the free French divisions in the area will be able to put up a good fight. The Americans are making good gains in the north. Hopefully when we can crush through here really quickly, that's going to mean they start making some decent progress. I'm displeased about the diminished protection that Norway has, is, is experiencing. So I would like... And you are an anti-air equipped division, yes. I would like another 12 divisions to bring that up to a good 24. Uh, seems seems advised. What are you? You're the invasion force, right. And you're operating under Brook. No, I think as a, as a special forces division, you should be operating under this one. And uh, sure, we'll make cherries our, uh, our symbol for, for the naval invasion. So yeah, whenever they actually do dare poke their heads out of their port. They do have a sizable number of ships now. And they are fighting us here. Perhaps we should work on um, improved naval bombard uh, bombardment. That would be, uh, would be good, I think. But we're going to go largely just on interception here to save fuel. I think that's smart. Could start trying a little bit of interception over Tyrrhenian. And then maybe rump it up over the channel, honestly. Yes, so uh, fighters over the channel. We need to go into a bit of fuel conserve mode. No, 100, 100 air superiority over each zone, not the Tyrrhenian, is, is not unreasonable. I don't think. Likewise, over the home counties. It uses more fuel, but it's only 100 planes. Oh, wow, these guys over Ireland immediately skilled up. I thought we sent noobs over there. Oh, no, we didn't, because they're a British squadron, so they must have been skilled already. Okay. Men are almost at America, which is, meanwhile, only halfway through launching its attack. I like how they're both doing the same focus. You know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> okay, you are overstacked now. Which are you? The northern one. Okay, you guys can become port garrison divisions. That's fine. And there is our... Oh, no, he refused to go there because we are at the supply limit here. So a few of you can fall back. This guy is uh, overstacked, presumably. Yes, do I have a... Uh, a staffer to replace him with. Oh, we got a couple of good French generals. Well, actually, stats-wise, they suck. Any staffers? There we go. Oh, no, it's an organizer. Cavalry leader. Hmm, that could be used interestingly. I must have a staffer among all these many, many exiled leaders, surely. That's still organizer. There we go. Skilled staffer. Beautiful. Mexican guy. Looks pretty good. He can operate that region fine and dandy. Oh, nice. Montgomery can get infantry expert. That's what I'm talking about. Meanwhile, this guy with his glorious panzer expert is helping out. Naval invaders are lining up. Fuel refining. Oh, that's a really good one. Tempted to invent synthetic oil and start building synthetic refineries, even though we have so much oil already in the empire. We are still having to import um, what else could I be working on? Marine tech. Could be, uh, yeah, worth that, worth getting. Faster speed and more, more marine landing defense seems, seems good to me. Looks like the United States are going to win this, uh, but again, as I predicted, at the cost of land in Mexico, with our men present for the Mexican invasion. Oh, it looks like that landing didn't work out in the end, fair enough. Uh, with, our, with our men present, we should be able to hopefully finish Mexico. Um, we'll launch some invasions from Cuba into the slightly more open terrain of the south, I think, rather than pushing through the mountains that cause so many problems in the north. Meanwhile, in the east, actually being pushed back. Damn it. That's real bad. Um, yeah. What do I do about that? Well, I can redeploy the rest of the Panic Division, but the supply is just so bad! I don't know how to fight in this kind of supply. I'm, I'm really bad at fighting in low supply zones, I, uh, I do know this. 
Let's get these some tanks down there regardless, I suppose. Gotta try something, right? I mean, planes already up in the region. The allies overstacking the airbase as per usual. I could build an airbase in the region in the French. That's probably smart. Get me a level five airbase here. That could be good. How does it subtract the factories? Oh, it actually has a special little icon. That's cool. Oh, I suppose that's from uh, from other special projects that are like base game. It looks like they're moving into Guangzhou, which means I'm going to cut them off from Hong Kong, which is good because Hong Kong is a slightly better port. Yes, sir. So this could work out to our advantage in the end. Meanwhile, over here, supply situation is uh, not quite under control. Because these guys are being a little slow as they move out, but that's okay. Just one line of those, please, gentlemen. And there we go, our first real problem fight. Probably just because our armor is not deployed. I will do a little cycle the armor in from the east shenanigan, I think. Uh, we are failing over corpses. Let's get some more troops there. Meanwhile, in America, the men have more or less begun to arrive. I will let the last few arrive, losing quite that many tanks. Would be a terrible shame. Uh, so, of my many, many divisions, who shall have the great honor of leading the American tanks? I do like this infantry leader guy. He is uh, old guard, though. No bad stats. This guy, perhaps. Higher cavalry attack. He's got good stats. You know his skills way too low. Here we go. River and Fort attack. Okay, skill. Congratulations, Benito. You are going to lead the men here. Yeah, the Americans are at least holding in most of these areas. Mexico hasn't fallen yet. Um, but we're going to need to get down here and safeguard Mexico. The oil imports from there cannot be overstated in their importance. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through battle plans with no orders and delete them because I don't like that alert being meaningless. Right, so those Belgian divisions included uh, some port defenders. <laughs> That's worrying. Um, that's okay, we've got these two coming out and we can use them to, to fill the gap. Where else? Not a problem. Not a problem. I don't want to keep it. Uh, I would like to go to that order. Do, 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 do. Not a problem. Bit tedious, I agree. Uh, but In fact, you know what? I'll do it off camera. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode. I'm going to clear up my battle plans a little bit. In the next episode, we will engage in the American Civil War and win it for the United States. See you then. Bye-bye.